Hello, I'm Dr. Loretta Seraldo, a board-certified dermatologist and author of the book, Six Weeks to Sensational Skin. Let's talk a little bit about skin disorders of the face. Typically, when someone comes to me with a skin disorder of the face, it is really a less visible problem than, let's say, problems that we would have on our body. And the reason why is because we're all so much more conscious of any kind of disorder on the face that patients come to see us dermatologists at an earlier stage. We all kind of are our own worst critics. And so if we start to see, for instance, a little scaling on our face, we may think, oh gee, this is so noticeable and feel that we need to rush to the doctor. But this video is really meant to help you to treat yourself if you can. So the most common kinds of things that we see on the skin are first of all a rash where you get almost like a little bit of a scaliness, almost a dandruffy condition that can be as simple as around your eyebrows, the creases of our eyes, and oftentimes in these what are called nasolabial folds, which are the folds that run from our nose down to our mouth. This can be called seborrheic dermatitis, seborrhea, or sometimes we call inverse psoriasis. And this condition is not uncommon on the face, but the wonderful news is that it will also often be remedied by buying over-the-counter cortisone, so-called cortisone 10, which is actually 1% hydrocortisone. If you do have a condition like this, I'd like you to consider trying this over-the-counter cortisone. You can apply it very sparingly to the affected areas morning and night. If you're not better within two weeks, then you should seek the advice of a physician. The other things that sometimes happen on a skin disorder is it could be an allergy, for instance, to a new toothpaste. So be a little bit of a Sherlock Holmes and say, I've got this problem, but did it start because of some change I've made?